Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me. Um, I'm in a different place. The bedding is being washed, so my bedroom is kind of a mess right now. So I'm just in this room with a very blank background, but I hope that's not too bad. I actually, when I'm looking at it right now, I kind of like how it looks, so maybe it'll be even better than my bedroom background, but we'll see. I'm just going to film in here because I've got a nice window. Uh, so hopefully the lighting is good, it looks okay. Um, but yeah, I wanted to use all drugstore products today. Doing a kind of fall, I hate that I keep saying that because all my videos recently are like the last few that I filmed, I've said, this is a fall look, but it really kind of is. Uh, let's just get started. I'm going to start with a primer. And I'm going to use the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer. I've been in love with this lately. I don't know, I think my skin has been kind of dry or something. So any type of moisturizing primer, I just I can't get enough. Okay, so for foundation today, I'm, of course, going to use my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. Uh, that's the wrong shade. I'm actually pretty tan right now. I've been using the Loving Tan two hour whatever and I think I like it more than the regular one I ran out of the regular one so I ordered a new one and I've been hearing a lot of people talk about the two hour one so I bought it I am like out of this foundation okay well, I don't know I kinda like it by the way I'm using a brush today just for something different but I have my beauty blender here just in case But I don't know, let me know what you think. If you feel like I'm doing too many tutorials. I don't know, that's kind of what I started my channel as. Like, tutorials, not really a whole lot of reviews. My reviews are kind of just like a new thing that I've been doing. Um, so, yeah, I hope I don't do too many tutorials. I think my favorite videos to film, though, are Get Ready With Me's. Okay. My skin has also been clearing up lately, like, I didn't wear any makeup yesterday and I, like, left the house. But I would never do that before. Unless I was going to the gym, but, like, to just go do stuff, never. The e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer to conceal these. For under my eyes, I'm going to use the, um, CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. I actually really like this. I'm going to put some here. Here. And right there. I'm going to blend that with a damp sponge. You know, you know those little wedge sponges that you can just get at like a drugstore? If you get those wet, they work really similar to a beauty blender so if you don't want to buy a beauty blender that's like a really good option uh, I'm going to I'm sorry I've been working on trying not to say uh so much because I know it's annoying as heck I say uh like constantly but I'm gonna use the wet n wild contour palette I really like this for setting my under eyes it's just like a really good color for setting under my eyes for setting like the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Revlon Nearly Naked Powder. This is like a pretty dark color that I sometimes have used for bronzer, but this foundation is a little light, so I'm just going to use it to give myself a little bit of a darker shade. And this powder is really beautiful, like very soft. These are like impossible to cover, so I'm just going to leave it. Okay, I'm going to use my e.l.f. contour palette to contour and bronze up my face. I've been using this a ton, but it's only because it's really good. So, I'm going to start with the contour color. And kind of carve out my cheekbones just a little bit. I've also really been into braiding my hair to give me some texture. Like, that's all I've been doing. I'll just either braid it when it's really wet or kind of dry it a little bit and then braid it and I've been, been able to wear my hair down a lot more because it gives it just 
a nice texture and it's like really easy to do. I'm not one who's really into doing my hair every day. I'm really lazy with my hair. I, I would much rather spend all my time doing my makeup than doing my hair and enjoying just braiding my hair. This is what I used to do when my hair was really long. I would do this every night and that's how I would wear my hair every day. So it's like nothing new for me, but it's new for like since I've cut my hair short. Now I'm going to take the bronzer and just kind of go over that area. So that's that. For blush today, I want to do something kind of rosy. Not rose. Well, I guess kind of rosy. Uh, but So I'm going to use the... There's that uh. Stop saying uh. I'm going to use this NYX blush in Pinched. It's a really beautiful, a really nice, kind of more natural blush. Something that looks like the wind has blown on your face or that you're embarrassed or something. Okay, it looks like I have highlight on, but I don't. Mm -mm. For highlight, I am going to use, I kind of want to use ColourPop, but I don't know if that's really drugstore. It's not super accessible, so. So yeah, I'll use the e.l.f. Baked Blush in Pinktastic. This is gorgeous. I use this a ton. Okay, so my face is done. I'm just going to move on to my brows. And I'm going to use my Milani Brow Pencil. I haven't used this in a while, so I'm just going to use it today. I like this because it has a spoolie. Okay, then I'm going to use this pencil. Sorry, I can't talk while I do my brows. It's that's very true. I can't. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna set my brows with some gel. I'm just gonna use the Great Lash Clear Gel. Okay, so now we can move on to like the fun part of this. And I'm going to need a black eyeshadow a cream eyeshadow and then you need some sort of crease shade so, so maybe I should use this in case you guys bought it because it is really amazing if you don't have this I would definitely recommend to go get it you can do an abundance of looks with it I'm gonna take just a this cream shade from creme brulee to set my lid and also I'm gonna put it all the way up to my bra brow bone like that. And I'm going to take this Sonia Kashuk palette, but again, any matte eyeshadow you have is going to work. I'm going to mix these two actually. Uh, so I'm just going to mix those and really just throw that in the crease. And just add however much of that that you want. I'm going to also drag it on my lower lash line. Okay. If you guys are sick of seeing this palette, just let me know and I'll push it to the back of my drawer so I quit using it, but honestly, it's just the best thing right now and I use it all the time. Now I'm going to take a black eyeshadow. This palette does have a black eyeshadow, but I'm not a huge fan of it, so I'm going to use the Wet n Wild uh, black eyeshadow. This is in Panther. little angled brush and you just want to put some black on here and then start on the outer corner and start kind of lining your eyes with that eyeshadow and also put it on the lower portion of your lid and I'm going to create just a little point here but not a wing so it's just going the same way that my eyes are going and honestly my eyes kind of tilt up it seems but we're, we don't care about that and this is going to kind of create a cute shape. A cute shape, whatever that is. And I'm just going to line the entire upper lid. And I'm just going to blend the lower part with my finger a little bit. Okay, then you want to do the same thing on the other eye. So I've been watching Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Have you ever seen that? It's actually really good and it's really funny, but 
I just finished it. There, there's only one season out. I guess it's a Netflix thing. So I watched all of season one in just a few days. But now I have to wait for the next season and it's not going to be out till like next year. I want to start another series because I don't want to just wait around, you know? Do you guys know of anything that's similar to that? So like if you've seen Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, what is something like kind of similar? Like a similar humor and stuff like that. I don't know, have you guys seen Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt? I had never even heard of it until I was looking up like good TV series like that's what I googled and it was on the list so I watched it and it's really it's pretty funny okay so I'm gonna take this nude liner and line my lower lash line so watching the new uh, Walking Dead it's called Fear the Walking Dead I'm watching that right now as well but that comes out every week so I don't have to like wait and I cannot wait for the regular Walking Dead to start again because I love that show. I'm also watching Project Runway, which is, you know, each week as well. I'm going to take some black eyeliner. I'm going to do mascara. I'm going to use my uh, Unique Mascara because I want my lashes to be kind of bigger. So tell me, are you guys like in college or high school or do you work anything like that I'm interested in your life not to be creepy just tell me about yourself so yeah don't be afraid to leave me comments and I always respond as long as you have a little reply button if you don't I can't reply uh, it has something to do with your settings, so if you see that your comment doesn't have a reply button, you might want to check your settings. But even then, I usually send a message. So check your messages, because I might have still responded to you. Especially if you asked a question, I probably did send you a message. But Va Va Violet is like, my jam and I used to wear it all the time so I'm gonna wear it today just bringing back memories <laughs> so this is the whole look I really hope you guys like it if you do like purple lips I would definitely uh, check out this color because you can get it at the drugstore and it's really really super nice um, but yeah, I think that's all I have to say. This is just something really easy for fall. Oh! No, no, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!